Right, uh, what's up? I'm Cole, and uh, my thing is going to be, hopefully, my deal, is talking comics. Uh, it's something I've sort of thought about for a while. Um, wasn't really sure if I'd get into the whole video thing. I'm, I don't know really how to do it. I get a little nervous talking in front of a camera, but I figure it might get easier to go along. Anyway, like I said, it's something I've thought about, and I've been encouraged by a couple people to do it, most notably, at least on here, um, my friend, uh, who a lot of you might know is Raiho, who is um, uh, somewhat successful. Successful to me, you know. Uh, guy who does uh, various videos. He's a horror aficionado, or connoisseur, or whatever. He does mostly horror movie stuff, and he, he delves into other stuff, too. And he's actually delved a little bit into comics, but he's always said, I'm the one who should be doing comics, because I'm so much more of an authority than he is. Yeah, maybe that's true. I don't know how much of an authority I am overall. However, I have opinions and views and all that crap, and since I've been encouraged and I have thought about it, I'm going to give it a shot, and we'll see how this goes. So this is just going to be sort of an intro to maybe explain myself a little more. don't know how interesting it will be, but maybe, hopefully, it will help uh, when I have more of these, which is what I'm planning on doing anyway. I'll figure out all that stuff. Uh, it can't be too hard. Ryo can do it. I can do it. All right? Okay, so um, a few things just to outline and explain it. Um, hmm. Oh, it was just that I'm a little more comfortable, I'm a writer, and trying to be one professionally, that's the big dream, and uh, I'm more comfortable usually expressing myself through written word, but, you know, this seemed like a cool idea, and I would give it a shot. Anyway, I'm talking without talking about anything, so I'm going to get into it. So, like I said, a few things about how I'm going to do this. One, I have not looked on YouTube to see if other people talk about comics. I imagine they do. Two reasons for this. One, I didn't want to find out that there's about 14,000 other people already doing it and there's nothing new I could possibly add. Or, you know, there's at least a few people doing it so well, there's, you know, there's no, why would I do it? I just become redundant. I don't want to know that. So we're just going to pretend they don't exist. It's not a disrespect thing. I respect them tremendously if they're out there, and they probably are. And the second thing is I don't want to be, you know, influenced by them, try to do it the way they do it or anything like that. So that's that. So I'll talk a little more about myself, which is, you know, awesome, I'm sure, you know, much better than me talking about comics. But I'll just say, um, I've had sort of an interesting relationship with comics uh, through my whole life. Um, I think a little more unconventional than a lot of people who read them and collect them now. One, um, I'm a comic reader. I'm a collector too, I guess, but I'm a reader first. Like, I read them a lot. I follow them. I take them out again and read them again over the years. This is part of the reason why I am so good at this. You know, I, I go back to it over and over. And that sort of thing. I'm really good at holding a lot of stuff in my head at once and connecting it. And I, I just live for that sort of stuff. So, and you know, obviously comics are a great source of that. So that's something I want to do. So, um, like I said, a little unconventional. You know, growing up when I was a little kid, you know, I don't know how you ever first hear about big things. If you want to talk about like major comic things, superheroes, Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, that sort of stuff. You, you know, it's just it's just everywhere anyway. So especially more so nowadays, but just as much when I was a kid too, which wasn't forever ago. Um, so yeah, I, I was aware of that stuff and um, thought it was cool, but you know, I was a little kid, wasn't buying comics or anything like that, but a few friends, including Raiho, had inherited some uh, collections. Raiho mostly had a lot of um, Marvel comics that I think his uncle or somebody had had in the 70s and stuff and 80s and given to him, and he had that and he would read it, he would read them. And this led into him and a few other my other friends, but not me for some reason, collecting the Marvel cards that came out in the early 90s. And they collected the heck out of all those cards, and I didn't really. I just sort of got their tr the, their trading cards, you know. I got the ones they already had extras of. I say, okay. But we took those cards really seriously. This is Marvel. And um, we, like, memorized the stats on them. So we knew a lot, and, you know, the cards weren't just for characters. Sometimes a card would come out commemorating an event, like a commemorating an event, like a crossover or something. So we were pretty informed on sort of what was going on, too. So we, we, you know, we play Marvel heroes and we'd be like, oh, you can't do that to me, my durability is five, your strength is only three. Like, we took it a little too seriously at some times, you know, on that scale of one to seven they had. So anyway, and then into my earlier teens, it, you know, it seemed like a good thing to do. I liked superheroes and things like that, and I loved reading, so why not collect comics? This is kind of funny, something weird about me is that, you know, nowadays I think because of some of the bigger movies and other stuff, the internet and all that, Comics are way more mainstream than they were even, like, a few years ago when I was a kid, you know. It wasn't just seen as a thing for, you know, it's not just seen as a thing for geeks as much anymore anyway. So, I mean, what all I'm trying to say is the realm of comics was probably a little more, seemed less accessible, seemed more geeky. And yet, for whatever reason, I found myself intimidated by this, you know, in a backward way. And that I thought, you know, 
I thought I couldn't go into a comic store and not know what I was doing or I'd look like an idiot, you know, imagine. But that's sort of what I thought. And there wasn't and there wasn't really a uh, consistent comic store around here. You get um, There were a few that, you know, were here and there and closed and that sort of thing. <laughs> Grew up in a small town. And uh, so you could get um, comics at, you know, corner stores and stuff like that. So, which I eventually started doing, but not with any real regularity or anything like that. And I latched onto a few comics that were sort of really hip at the time. Never spawn. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, Gen 13, a few other things, are, you know, when the 90s was trying to make it a little... Things that's, you know, a little more cool, I guess, and that sort of thing. So superheroes were always my first thing. Okay, wow, how am I doing for time? I talk a lot. I try to... You don't want you don't want the first thing you do to be a two-parter, do you? No. So anyway, uh... Right, so it wasn't actually until I was almost 19 and living in a different city going to university, I thought, why the hell don't I just collect comics? Because, you know, I know a lot about them, I love them, I love all that stuff. So anyway, I'm primarily, because of uh, stuff like that, because of the history and stuff, I'm primarily into Marvel. I'm Mr. Marvel. I know a ton about Marvel, which you all find out. But I know stuff about DC and that sort of stuff, too. Mostly Batman. I can tell you I can be lost at sea for a lot of things DC, but, you know, I'm a big Batman fan. And have... I have a fair amount of Batman stuff. Again, I'm not like 40 or whatever. I don't have a huge, sprawling comics collection, but I have a fairly good one since, you know, I've been collecting for roughly seven years or whatever. I think it's pretty good, and a lot of good graphic novels and that sort of thing, and that gives me a lot, which I'll eventually be talking about. I don't know if straight-up reviews exactly, but talking about that sort of stuff. So, um, hmm, where was I? Okay, yeah, just um, stuff about me. I, I love all comics. I'm not just a superhero guy. I'm just saying I'm not made of money, so I have to reserve, you know, comics, my money, my comics money, <laughs> for, you know, the stuff I like most. And that is the Marvel Universe, which I stick to. But I branch out, and I have other things, stuff that has nothing to do with superheroes, you know. Uh, I don't need people telling me, you know, like all these indie and underground comics that I don't know about. I know about them, trust me. I'm really, I'm really into the world. I really like comics. Um, I would love to write comics someday. You know, I can't draw to save my life, but that's okay. You don't need to do be a writer and drawer. Um, anyway, so, uh, you know, I, I'm informed, I think, at least as much as the next person about that sort of thing. So a lot of my focus is going to be on Marvel stuff, but I promise I'm going to keep it interesting, branch out in other stuff, and like I said, there's be lots of Batman. Um, uh, you know, manga, stuff like that. Some of the some of the stuff like, like Osama Tezuka, you know, cool stuff like that. Godfather of manga. You know, I'm all over that kind of stuff, too. So hopefully, you know, um, this can be a regular thing that I do, and it will be, you know, halfway interesting, and um, people will like it. Uh, Raiho said if I ever got this off the ground, uh, he would um, recommend people to him. So if you're one of those people, I'm sort of sorry, <laughs> you know, because maybe he's a lot better at what he does than I'm going to be. I don't know. We'll find out. I like his stuff, but, you know, it's, it's nice to be encouraged. It's nice to have somebody say they want you to do that sort of thing. So anyway, yeah, so uh, come along with me to the world of comics. Um, you know, I can't show you every angle, obviously, and, you know, I know there's people that know more than I do, but I'm sure you're really interested in my opinion by now. I mean, you stuck with me for the past eight minutes and some, and I'm sure you're, you're really impressed, you know? So, um, girls, I'm single. Boys, I am suggestible. I is he serious? Uh, I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. When it comes to talking about comics at the very least, I never joke around. So uh, hopefully I'll see you again. Peace. That's it.